Hit the trap. These are from fans, isn't it? It's not like maps to do writing them, right? <laughs> I'm going to answer all these questions. Hi, I'm Adele and I'm going to be answering questions on the box. Hope there's no horrible ones. Do you think your music would change if you weren't writing about heartbreak? Probably. I reckon it'd be a bit more upbeat. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell the story behind Chasing Pavements? Yes. Um, it was... Well, there's a few stories. Well, there's one main one, but there's a few. I think sometimes I was trying to not come across like a hooligan, so I told a kind of made up one. But um, the guy I was seeing at the time was in a club, and he told me he was somewhere else. And he was in this club with this girl that I knew he was sort of like, you know, behind my back. So I went into the club and whacked him in the face and got chucked out. And I was running down Oxford Street, and then I suddenly came like to my senses and thought, you're just chasing a pavement. You're sort of, like nutter. And then chasing pavement stuck better than he did. There you go. Since you've recently gotten into Hey! Since you've recently gotten into cooking and baking, what is the most elaborate thing you have made? I made a blueberry crunch cake at Christmas time. And it's one of it needed to be in one of those kind of cake cases that had a hole in it, so it was basically like a wheel, like a major, major, massive donut. Didn't have one, didn't sell one at Asda. So I made one um, out of a normal tray and put like a ramekin in the middle and then I couldn't get it out. So even though it tasted amazing, it was a blueberry crunch cake with a ramekin in the middle. But it tasted good. And then covered in cream cheese icing. It was fine. Woo. How do you want your music to affect your fans? Um, I'd like them just to maybe feel a bit of comfort out of my music and uh, be able to cry to it, laugh to it, or do whatever they need to do to it. Um, I always feel like I'm the only person who feels how I feel at a certain time, not when I'm devastated or really over the moon and chuffed, whatever. And actually, there's about 20 other million people who feel exactly the same as I do all the time. So. And I like it when I remember that, that I'm not the only one who's feeling like how I feel. So if anyone could ever feel like they're not alone, you know. <laughs> yeah. Productive. Any plans to reschedule a duet with Etta James? We were never meant to do a duet, but that's a good idea. Um, but unfortunately, Etta James is very, very ill. Um, so I doubt um, she would ever have the energy or time to do it anyway. Um, but we were going to be playing the Hollywood Bowl together, but she was ill then as well. But um, yeah, please get well soon. Who is your favourite diva of all time? I think Mariah Carey is the ultimate diva. So I'll say Mariah. That's it. Oh damn, thanks. <laughs>